Okay, I guess the recording is running, so... Hey guys, and welcome back to this episode of Let's Play Battlefield Gothic Armada 2! Where we are playing the Chaos Campaign and just constantly fighting invasions left and right, left and right. Just all we ever do, so it's really, really frustrating to do so right now. Did I not select the fleet? I guess I didn't. So we are moving up these two fleets now to clean the way for for this fleet which is coming in for some repairs and replenishment in Scarus. Also we need like some new ships. So I, I hope that here it will be just one turn. Why does it say plus one still? Maybe because it's almost full. So this fleet is not kept out at all. How about this one? This can use one more ship as well. And this can use maybe one more ship as well for 130 points. It's gonna be like something. Okay. Well let's let's get started with that. Let's let's buy a new ship for this. We could buy something big for this one. fit in a second desolator. It's pretty cheap actually. That would leave us with 60 points. If we get a desolator. And I just We really want we can buy it and apostate as well. We could have maybe saved up enough, but yeah. This should be fine. Two battleships. If we ever get to feel that many. But maybe we get to like rotate around some and not always bring whatever. Let's also buy it and apostate. There you go. Almost kept out. So that's one fleet. You also have a lot of room. Well you don't really. You had 130 so let's, let's check what can we get for 130 points. Not even this one. Well that kinda sucks. Because you can get like one of these. that we'll, we really need, but whatever. In case we need to bring in some fodder. And this one, this one had that Echeron that, that really doesn't want to level up. And we do not have enough room for a could we buy from this? We could buy a grand, not even a Grand Cruiser. We could buy Assurance or... Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Well, we can replace the Assurance, which we had, and then still have enough room for... for a Desolator, which we might get in the next run. But that's the plan for now. This guy also has the power of the damned and the emissions. So let's scrap this Echeron. Sadly. I think it's still bugged. We have taken it to a lot of battles and it just won't level up. So, yeah. Let's buy a second Echeron. A new one. A better one. And then from our remaining points, we can just get a second Desolator. Or when we come back to any area that has them scream of oblivion okay so yeah we're gonna wait here one turn get everyone back to full and leave 
these guys to like run ahead. They should also have four. Uh, yeah, they have the navigator, so they will be like one step ahead. Although we kind of need them. We might wait one more turn and then buy the desolator. We'll see. Because we also need to take out. What's the Wehrmacht? Is this. Oh, this is our fleet that's coming up. Okay, so. Skeevs has one of our defense fleets already. Here's the other one, right? Yeah. And then maybe we will use this same fleet to move up and defend against that location. Okay, uh, so that sector is done. We can then move on to Chinchara. Here we have another invasion, of course. But from I'm not coming back for that, like, screw you, don't care. Now we're here, we can buy this guy actually a new ship as well. Uh, from Agrippina, but it can only be for 210 points. So I was thinking, let's get it an executor. That should go with what he usually does. And then we can jump all the way here with him. And these guys can try to follow. And okay, that does this area. And then I believe we will... But this fleet is a little bit better, so... Maybe these guys are okay-ish. That's a desolator, desolator, heck at the turn. We have one fleet here with another set of desolators that could potentially move up and take maybe those two. That's a good question. Which fleet should we take where? Because if we take this ship, we could fight the Imperials here, but it might be bad for us. Or we could just take it back for repairs, get it some troops and stuff. And we could use the other two fleets to just move on here. Well, I might just do that. Okay. You, who are in, the, in not such a good shape, you will move there. And while we will, we will attack Halotas. There's two fleets there. We have two fleets to counter them with. Not you, but you can come, you also have Desolator, Repulsive, Hellfire. Okay, so we're gonna start our attack here. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's battle. Uh, to gain the favor of Siege, okay. Um, oh, we could take out this Hecate and take a repulsive can take a repulsive we still have a desolator a desolator a desolator repulsive and churn all right let's try with this the hecate is like our um scout ship there but it's fine don't care We badly, badly need to do the story missions now. Get rid of the Necrons, get rid of the Eldar, and then just have like 
the Imperium to deal with. That will be more than enough too. And we would if they let us do the story missions. But of course you need to bring that one particular guy to like opposite sides of the map while also fending off all these invasions and trying to progress with taking the map. It's just too much. But it's really frustrating. You can tell that I'm really unhappy with this right now. Take control or capture, okay. And do they have... I'm not sure if they had any. I guess they didn't have any defenses here. There you are, the apostate, so... Go that way. Maybe we can split the fleet a bit. Oh, and I see Medusa there. Show us our victims. We stand ready. Did I forget to Switch make you stop? Silent running. As the war master wills. Reporting. We are unstoppable. Your orders. We are unstoppable. You have seized a strategic area. I hope they are like using their guns and whatever they have on. You have seized a strategic area. Reporting for the ruinous powers. Yeah, they are. Oh wow, and they have already done so much damage to that. The enemy has seized a strategic area. The enemy has seized a strategic area. We stand ready. All right, you can do we'll that. We'll follow your command for now. Break them. Enemy ship sighted. As the War Master wills! For the War Master! We are unstoppable! Enemy ship sighted! Oh God, Show us course. our victims! Enemy ship sighted! You have seized a strategic area. Now we are in a bit of a bad spot. For the war master! For the ruinous powers! We stand ready! Uh, so this guy gonna run now. Enemy ship sighted! And. For the war master! Yeah, we're gonna just. Moving to those coordinates! Enemy ship sighted! Our shields go down, they have like a zillion 
As the war master wills. Enemy ship sighted. Ah, come on. Engines hot. You guys really need to move, like now. We've lost an escort craft. Okay, they managed to kill our escort. That's Show us great. our victims. Okay, um. Reporting. I of course, take so many crits, like, no, lose. We must escape. Who is dying now? Our minions rampage through their ship. Setting course. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. What's this? Oh, that's our ship that is now dead. <sighs> Jesus, cuz. Okay. So that's our Etcher and God. Thank you so much. Yeah, lose your generator, of course. Your orders! Engines hot! For the war master! Reporting! Oh come on, just how As many Nova cannon wills. shots do you have? Yeah, it's actually not a Nova cannon shot, it's so. moving to those coordinates. You have seized a strategic area. Yeah, kinda it wasn't a good idea to actually Show us split victims. up the fleet. So we lost an Echeron. Probably a really high level Echeron. Your orders! Repair my ship, or else. What are you, Arkmak? Okay. For the war master. Oh God! Come on, get out of there. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. We are unstoppable. The enemy has seized a strategic area. I hope I didn't like veto myself. I might have. Yep, I kind of did. And he's just speeding away now. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Powers. Reporting. And you like burning again. We'll follow your command for now. Okay, we are unstoppable. Our oh, God's sake, they have setting course. So many ships there. It's like. Really? Yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. Warp strike successful, master! Enemy ship sighted! Our strike team slaughtered them! For we strike from the war. Enemy ship sighted. Warp strike successful, master. You have accumulated oh, fifty percent of strategic points. Reporting. We are unstoppable. We stand ready! Moving to those coordinates! Show us our victims! Okay. 
Show us our victims. Engines hot. Reporting. As the War Master wills. Ah, and they are like moving on the gate now. Okay. For the ruinous powers. We are unstoppable. Master wills. Well. We'll follow your command for now. Setting course. Your orders. Engine's hot! For the War Master! Do we have like someone with a... Uh... Oh, that was the wrong guy. Show us our victims! Ah, and they have still more. Moving to those coordinates. For the ruinous powers. Setting course. I hope I like it. Your orders. Stand ready! We are unstoppable! I... I cannot master! Reporting! The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Fear us, for we strike from the war! Kind of defended our strike gate. team slaughtered them as the war master wills. Warp strike successful, master. That was a massive battle. You are close to victory by strategic points. Yeah, uh -huh. so now we definitely need at least one of these fleets to return as well for the next turn. Are we gonna have to like rotate those five fleets? And try and capture us as much repair as we can and uh, especially replenishing troops is gonna be a pain. Well, it was a two-star Acheron, which we lost. Oh, okay. And then apostate. Got our apples if got promoted. Or we who for that. But yeah, and we get no repairs in this sector at all, whatsoever. Google, you can go. So, so far we get 10% repairs and 3% or 3 troops per turn.
can say that this is fun. Maybe when we take that, we can use... Well, alright. Uh, so we have nothing in Nemesis Tesser here, we have one invasion there, we have moved with those. And for once, we do not have any invasions in the next turn. Still a couple turns away, it's two turns away. Okay, might just end the turn here then. I think I did everything I had to do. More invasions, of course. They win against the Turin, it's or not. They did win, and they barely lost anything, which they immediately recovered. <laughs> That's like not fun. Oh yeah, you can fight the Necrons there. Good for you. Oh, uh, that's gonna be a massive pain too. Kedia is, is really painful and just not fun to fight. Okay, um, well, let's just prepare for the end of the next turn. This is just 1000 points, so defense platforms, okay. Um, still has three turns to get here, so we will have two turns to make that four jumps, that's alright. How many points did it replenish? If we wait one more turn, can we buy a large ship for this actually or not? Because we also need to consider that we will need to wait. So that's four. Yeah, I don't want to wait two more turns here. So at least the fleets are replenished, so. We'll just buy that battleship somewhere else. Okay. So we can race over to Caliban. And that's two steps, so we do not make it there actually. We can at least. I like. Just delay them once. We'll see. We will attack here and then see what happens if we just delay them once. If we will have any any fight left in us. Belial should be fine. Scarus is skills is prepared. here in two turns so we can do that later. Agrippina has one invasion super far away from everything that we have. That's like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six turns away from from us. Yay. Okay. 
Or we can use these two guys to just go and this is like a full fleet here, so and half health ships are not really something I wanna go fight with. Okay, so let, let's do a quick battle still, we can do that. We will travel this way and take Orca Tork. We will see if the Necrons can beat those guys in three turns. Breakthrough, we could try a breakthrough, that would be fun. Um, if we take out, that's still not enough for anything. And if we take you out as well, we could bring the retaliator, which should be a lot of. Well, we do have a spoiler. Let's, let's try this way. If we did a breakthrough, we could go on and just fight uh, the next wave too. Also, that might make this a little bit of a long episode. But whatever, we might do that. Or keep that for the next episode and couple it with the more next set of invasions, because we can but yeah, just just too many invasions. We really, really need to get rid of the Eldar and the Necron. And even then, it's just the uh, the Imperium is gonna invade us on so many fronts. Like it makes no sense. We have pushed them back all the way into Cadia. They should not be able to invade us on this many fronts now. Whatever. Take control and capture, of course. What are you, the retaliator? Well, you are the least slow of these ships. Or you are the executor, which you could also bring. Meh, I don't know. Let's bring you there. Everyone else here, and they can just move up the middle. We'll follow your command, for now! Swift Death Squadron, seeking prey. For the War Master! Can also send some... Swift Death Squadron, stuff at them. seeking prey. this, this. We stand ready! Okay, can speed up a little because it takes forever to get there. Yeah, the fighters just missed each other because the You have seized do. a strategic area. We'll follow your command, for now. Enemy ship sighted! The enemy has seized a strategic area. Well, they shouldn't have that many. Ships. Engines hot! We're gonna try and do this. Gonna... How can he be already identified? Setting course. 
And naturally... We are unstoppable! Enemy ship sighted! Your orders. Enemy ship sighted! The enemy has seized a strategic area. As the war master wills. It's an emperor, of course. Enemy ship sighted! Show us our victims! Reporting! Doomfire's unleashed! I kind of like... Orders. Attack those guys. You have seized a strategic area. Moving to those coordinates. Show us our victims. Enemy ship sighted. For the ruinous powers. Oh, of course, you shot at them. Swift Death Squadron, seeking prey. Your orders. Dead claws away! Setting course. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Did that ship just disappear? You have seized a strategic area. We stand ready! We stand ready! As the War Master wills. For the War Master! Show us our victims! Your orders. Doomfire's unleashed! You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. We are unstoppable! Doomfire's unleashed! Moving to those coordinates! We stand ready! Moving to those coordinates! Reporting! You have seized a strategic area. We'll follow your command for now. Engines hot!
Doomfire's unleashed. Oops, I may have messed it up. Oh, come on. Show us our victims! Well, you know, it seems. That new tiny help. So yeah, this one we managed to pull off without really get, getting shot at, thanks to the AI not being so smart. can attack Cersea or we could go for Cadia actually um I think taking this from eight gifts of chaos. Okay. Raptors call secrets. Oh, that sounds fun. And we get the shipyard and Renegade Enclave. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna attack Cadia with our breakthrough point. We can use the Blackstone Fortress to, to do that. Alright, so these guys gonna go for a quick break. And a Pina. Well, they should get repaired to full the next turn and then they can just help us capture everything in this area while these guys gonna attack Kadia and just deal with the stuff there and then of course we have invasions in here and here and here and here and <laughs> oh my god so yeah, I just have to not forget about fighting the invasions or cancelling them as they come up. It's probably gonna be two cancels. Let's say we have three fleets here. Oh okay. yeah. Shouldn't forget about bringing up this guy to the... ...to this area and then they can... Also help us out. 150. Can we get a new ship for them? So we should have both that in Chinchair probably, but it's fine. 150. Does that fit? Nah. We could bring another Hellbringer, but. This one has. Oh, uh, this one has at least fighters on it, which you can use to scout. Yeah, that might be good. Let's buy you uh, a halbinger. Alright, I guess we have three fleets here, two over there in Cadia, and we can do the breakthrough and then again defend in the next turn. 
how many yeah it's 18 now <laughs> and this place Pino world we could get some corn stuff but we don't want Alright. Can use this to our advantage then. So gonna call the episode here and then in the next one we will do our breakthrough and capture Cadia and then also go for uh, defending more against the invasion. So woohoo. Anyway, thank you for to, uh, for watching so far. I've been Cloud. I'll see you at the next episode then. Bye-bye.